Hey YouTube, James Sinclair here, and I know what you want to talk about. You want to talk about my barnet, my hair. It's going out of control, but the 6th of July, 4th of July is coming, and I can have it snipped away. I'm looking forward to it. And the other thing I need to tell you about, I've just had a baby, a baby girl called Darcy Sinclair. But there's something else that I want to talk to you about, because something new has arrived in my life. Not just a baby, not just the prospect of a new haircut, but a double-decker bus. Let's go. So during lockdown, loads of people have been doing impulsive buys. They've been buying stuff on Amazon they don't need, but you know, I like to be a little bit strange. I bought one of these a double-decker bus. Yes, a 1960s red double-decker bus. What do I want to do with it? Well, I don't want to drive it. I just want to leave it stood up and I'm going to turn it into a tea room on the back of our farm shop because I want people to be able to buy afternoon teas and enjoy it, but I don't want to build a building. So I've bought this thing for about £20,000. It's coming from North Wales. It drives at 35 miles an hour and the bloke's going to steer it all the way into Essex. It's going to go on the back of our farm shop and then I'm going to turn it into some tea rooms. Let me just show you a picture of it right here. So this is what it looks like. And so what I'm envisaging is this stuff that they're doing around London. Afternoon tea with good quality sarnies. This is a picture of what I'm imagining right here. And this is what the bus is gonna look like right here. Some quick editing there for you, Chadlington. Here's none of the reasons why I bought it. Number one, it's an appreciating asset. Because these things don't get made anymore, they can go for up to 69,000 pounds. So I'm gonna buy it, keep it. And when you sell them, because it's gonna be part of my private collection, there's no tax to pay on it. So that's very advantage, uh, advantageous, should I say. No business rates, because I'm not building a new building. I'm have to pay any higher business rates. I mean, they might come around and inspect it, but I'll argue the case, ladies and gents. Number two, planning. No planning. It's on wheels, isn't it? I can move the blooming thing if I should or I want to. And I think it's really going to increase our spend ahead on catering. And that's one of the things that I really focus on businesses, increasing spend ahead. And because I wrote a book called The Experience Business, a little plug for it right here. Um, you can listen to that on Audible as well if you don't like reading. There you drive an experience into your business and something's new where people can talk about it. Because look, I'm a bit of a freak. I know that, but I'm unique. I mean, look, look what I'm wearing. Can you get them in shot chunks? This is just my standard walk about the house attire. What was the bit that I was just saying there, Chaz? Ah, yes, yes. I want to drive an experience through because I think if people are going to have afternoon tea, wouldn't they like to have it on a 1960s bus? A route master bus. I'm over the moon about it. Our builders are already planning how we can convert it. I want to get another one and put some festoon lights in between. And here's the other thing. I'm just doing a cheeky little bid on a Morris Minor van um, on eBay. I'll put a shot of that in here. This little green loveliness, this 19. 60s Morris Minor van is going to be our promotional vehicle. And we're going to, and here's the other thing, we're going to have this driving around the towns. We're going to put it in high streets. We're going to put produce on the top so people see it. Oh, what's that? Or what's that? Like the double decker bus? Or what's that? It's just like when you're a freak and you're a bit unique, when you do stuff that's unusual in a very, un sorry, you do stuff that's unusual in a very usual world, then you're going to win, aren't you? Because everyone's just fed up with samey samey. And I think having afternoon tea on a big 1960s old fashioned bus, that's great fun. That's an experience. You're going to love that when you visit our farm shop and garden centre. When you see our 1960s little green van driving around the town, you'll be like, oh yeah, that's the farm shop. Must pop in there to go and do some of our shopping. But here's the other thing. We're bidding at the moment on 400 bicycles. Yeah, you heard that correctly, 400 bicycles. And we're going to paint them green, and then we're going to put signs on the back of them, and we're just going to lock them up around the town in bike bikes. And people are going, oh, what's that bike over there? And it's going to have the farm shop at Marsh Farm on it, and we're going to put flowers on it. And we're just going to dot them around everywhere. So everyone Everyone's going to see it, and that's how you can get customers. Now, for more great ideas on how you can get customers, you can get this book, Getting Customers, um, which you can get free on my website. Just pay the post and packaging at jamesinclair.net. Thanks for watching. Oh, and if you want to try my Entrepreneurs University to learn how to even get any more customers into your business so that you're doing it for less money than more, less money than you ever thought possible, then why don't you try the Entrepreneurs University? You can try that free. There's a link in the video description or go to my website, jamesinclair.net. Hope you like that little update from me. So, yeah, I've had a baby. Looking forward to getting my hair cut. I bought a red bus and I'm on the cusp of buying 400 bikes and on the cusp of buying a 1960s Morris Minor van. That's the marketeer of me. I'm super excited about it. I'm jubilant about having a little girl as well. I've got a little boy and a little girl right now. Right, I'm off for another swim. It's all right.